Hi everybody. In this screencast, we're going to go over Spark Streaming with Kafka. And this screencast is meant to accompany the written instructions found at superglue.com. So I'm going to go through all the steps required to run the example code. And I'm going to go fairly quickly if you have any Comments, questions, suggestions, please leave them in the spot below. So let's get started. First, we're going to start off by starting up Zookeeper using this command Zookeeper server, server start. This is for Kafka, of course, and we'll see that fire up. I'm going to next go into another terminal window and start up Kafka server. We're following the quick start examples here. And we can see that that fired up. Next, we're going to create the topic, the raw weather topic. And that's just a matter of running this command. I already have that created, so we won't see much happening there. All right, we're already through three windows. Let's move on to the next one. We want to verify our Cassandra setup. I am in the CQL directory, which has my CQL file create time series. I'm going to start up CQL shell. I am going to take a look at my key spaces. Then I'm going to source this file. Take a look at the key spaces again. I see I have the ISD weather data now. So then I'll go into that. Take a look at the tables. Select from one of them and see that it is empty. Okay, so we've got a, an empty key space all ready to go. Let's keep moving on. And this next example here, let's build our fat jar. That's SBT assembly. I've already built it before, so it should be pretty quick. About three seconds. Next, I want to make sure that Spark is running and has resource available before we deploy. So I'm going to switch over to this window. I'm going to refresh and see that I have Spark running. Um, and I have got a worker with available resources. So we should be ready to go, or ready to deploy. I'm now going to go back to my terminal. I have the spark submit command all teed up and read with the appropriate arguments for the class, whether data stream and the master and the jar itself. So let's fire this up. It looks to be running fine as we're seeing the output from the streaming. Okay, so we've got Kafka running. We have our Cassandra verified. We have Spark up and running and our application deployed. All we need to do now is start sending data to Kafka where it can be processed. And I have, you can see here, this command all ready to go. This is the console producer, but we're going to pipe this here to a CSV file. This CSV file, I will show you in a second, is also included with all the source code. But let's just fire this off. And we should see it. And we do here being processed by the Spark streaming job. We should also see, if we come back to the Spark UI, if we click into the application detail, we should see information on the streaming and the data that we saw from this input rate. Great. So that's practically enough for me to believe that it's working fine. I'm also going to do some more verification, though, make sure that we're saving data to the table. That's good. And it looks like we verified it. So that's it. Um, again, this screencast is, is just a quick overview of all the steps not necessarily in the exact order as presented in the written tutorial at Superglue, but hopefully you find this helpful as you are starting to experiment with Kafka and Spark Streaming. 
If you have any questions, suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Thank you.